and welcome back to the Worst Possible Commander Show. We're here in 2024 to play some sizzling hot commander for all of you. And we're called the Worst Possible Commander Show because we like to tell each other before the game even starts the atrocious evil things our decks are going to do to defeat all of them in glorious combat. Hi! It's me, it's CGB, and I'm here with my friends. This is Gina. Hi. And this is Ben. Hello. And this is Blake. Did you say sizzling hot? I did. I love it, okay. <laughs> it's a very mono right thing for me to say. I know, it's I'm a uncomfortable. New year. It's a new, new year, it's new a new Ben. ben. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see Ben play a combo deck. I, it's, that's, that's actually a good point. Maybe we'll see that today. Yeah. I don't know, you better watch the intro and find yeah. out. Our episode is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code WORST at CoolStuffInc.com to get a discount and show your support for the show. And we're brought to you by Ultimate Guard, who provides the sleeves and the playmats and the protective products that take care of our fine collections, and they can take care of yours as well. Hit the link in the description to show your love for the show. Hi, worst possible, what I'm going to do to you guys. I am playing Ellie and Alan, paleontologists. Nice. I wanted to be a paleontologist as a kid, <laughs> so that's cool, but don't get too confused. This is not a dinosaur deck, even though this is from the Jurassic World product in the Lost Caverns of Ixalan boosters. No, I am going to use that discover ability from my graveyard to find some things, but what I'm trying to do are find combo pieces. Mm -hmm. This deck is going to look dirtily until it doesn't look dirtily anymore. My plan is to self-mill my whole deck and either win with a Thassa's Oracle combo or use something along the lines of Altar of Dementia and a Revel Arc Karmic Guide combo to mill all of you. A few ways I have to mill myself. There's a couple. There's a lot of combos in the deck. But I have Cephalid Illusionist Lightning Greaves, which I can just move the Greaves back and forth and make me mill my, my entire deck. That's fun. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, it's gonna look dirtily, but I'm I'm nefariously trying to kill all of you by playing solitaire. So you should do something about <laughs> okay. that. Is what I'm solitaire. telling you. Solitaire win. Okay. Yeah. Don't let me just sit over here and do my thing, or you'll be sad. Gina, tell us what you're playing and what your worst possible is. Hi. Uh, first, I should get out of the way. Shay's not here this week. Couldn't be here. I'm really sorry I'm not Shay. I know that there's a lot of you crying in the comments already. Where's Shay? I miss Shay. Gina's not Shay. Wasn't there a New Year's resolution to not apologize for things you shouldn't apologize for? True, but what I would like to do is I would like to convince you to cheer for me this week because I have a deck Shay would like. Mm. So this is a very, very fun creature deck. It's near and dear to my heart because this was my first commander ever. This is how I learned the game with Kahira, Orphan Guard. What I love about Kahira is she makes all of her friends very strong and vigilant. It also made it hard for me to learn how to block when I started playing, because I never had to turn anything sideways. <laughs> so that was a problem for a while. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to come back to my first commander. And the worst possible thing I can do is just kill Blake with Crater Huff. <laughs> it's a creature deck. Never the bridesmaid. Always the bridesmaid? <laughs> it's not always the bride, that's for sure. That's bad. <laughs> Yeah, so happy to be here, happy to play this. What do you got, Ben? Okay. I'm bringing some Scorched Thrashing to the battlefield today, bringing back a Yarlock of Scorched Thrash, bring back Mana Burn. Rem remember that, CGB? What, what should I be remembering? <laughs> oh, I don't know. You're gonna Aether Flux me? Which you did. Mm-hmm. But then I had a Wound Reflection out. Uh -huh. And you didn't have over 100 life. And I lost life. another 50. Yes, I remember yeah. now. I died to my own Aetherflux <laughs> Reservoir because of a wound reflection. Yes. That's amazing. That was uh, that was early episode. That was like 20 or under or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, close yeah that was a long time ago. Anyway, what my worst possible is equipping my commander with Umbral Mantle so I can untap him from the colorless he, or colored mana he makes from tapping himself. So as long as I have one mana every time, I can just keep doing that for how much mana I have. Wait, so it makes infinite mana? Not quite. No, it does the opposite. It spends all his mana to give us a lot of mana. Which it gives us, us infinite yeah. mana? Not quite, but a lot. A lot it gives mana. us a lot of mana? Yeah. And then I go to my draw step, and you just die because of mana burn. Oh. Luckily, I played mostly yeah. instants. 
Great. Oh, love that you. for me. Well, since you want to talk about your deck so badly, Blake, why don't you uh, go ahead and introduce it? <laughs> so, Jeannie, you're playing a deck Shay would love. I'm playing a deck that Shay would hate. I'm evil today. <laughs> I'm playing Toshiro Umazawa. So this is Mono Black, a classic favorite, but it's a lot of kill spells. It's a lot of trying to use instants that are both card advantage, tutors, kill spells, etc. And I'm gonna combo you guys out with the old Chain of Smog, Professor Onyx. I'm coming, I'm here to play. So look out. All right, so combo, combo. The, the Chain of Smog thing copies itself. What you have to do is target yourself, right? And mm -hmm. then you discard all your cards, but you keep copying it, and yep. then we all get drained. Yes. Yeah, Ooh. I don't think we've ever done that on the show before. Actually. Not yet. Not yet. So perhaps some firsts coming up here in 2024. Well, let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. All right, Gina won the die roll, but I have a pre-game action. Whoa. It's guy. a gemstone <laughs> wow. caverns. Whoa, you got it? Exiling Finale of Devastation to have a luck counter placed upon it, which means that this will tap for a man of any color. Is that the first time you've done that successfully? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I, it definitely feels like I it. I have had gemstone caverns in my opening hand where I go first. <laughs> yeah. At least four times yes. on the show. Oh and God. now I have luck sacked into a pregame. Proud of you. Nice. Go ahead, Gina. Wow, how do I follow that? Um, With your own land. Tapped Canopy Vista. Pass. I'll play a Taiga. I'll tap that Taiga for a Soul Ring. I'll tap that Soul Ring for a Gruel Signet. Go ahead, boy. He is showing me up right now. He is he's yeah. not impressed. All right, well, I'll draw for turn, and I'm going to play a Swamp, and I'm going to pass. On your pre-combat main phase, I'm going to cycle Lorien Revealed and go get an island. Perfect. I have island cycled for a Tundra. Damn, bro. Uh, untap, draw for my turn one. I just can't get over myself. Play this uh, Tundra, tap for green, Bloom Tender. Your turn. Untap, draw, animal sanctuary. Yeah, pass. <laughs> Untap, draw for two. We'll play foreboding ruins, revealing a swamp. Mm. I will tap three, four, get out your lock of scorch thrash. Go ahead, Blake. All right, draw for turn. Well, I guess, I guess it's time to start being evil. I'm gonna main phase it. I'm gonna play an Orcish Bowmasters. What? Wow. If that enters the battlefield, I get a couple triggers. Uh, woo. Uh, what the hell you is haven't, I haven't chosen targets yet. Uh-huh, yeah, that's right. I, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna choose it. <laughs> <laughs> well, CGB correctly already put his uh, Bloom Tender into the graveyard, because that was gonna be my target. Dead. And I'm gonna pass. Okay, cool, that's fun. Untap, drop. Uh, I'm gonna play Otawara, Soaring City, as my land. I'm gonna cast a Noble Hierarch. Let's see what <laughs> happens with that. <laughs> and I'll pass. Forest, tap two for uh, Rampant Growth. I'm gonna go get a land. All right, I got a Plains. Pass. I'll untap, draw for turn, play a Swamp. Tap three for a Ladeline Prowler. And I'll also tap two for Victory Chimes. Untap Victory Chimes during each other player's untap step. Tap a player of your choice adds one mana. <laughs> and you can choose yourself. I can if I want to. That's great. <laughs> but you can also choose someone else. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Blake. Don't do it. Take four. Maybe. Yes. Okay. And it's your turn, sir. Before you untap, Blake. So at your end step? Yeah, okay. my end sub. Have a have a colored list mana. A colored list? Okay. Colored list. Yeah. <laughs> you have a colorless mana in your pool. What are you going to do with it? Well, I'm tapped out, so I'm not going to do anything with my colored list. All right. <laughs> um, uh, so I, does Ben do the honors? Take one damage. Thanks. <laughs> Can I go to my? Yeah, yeah. Go That's ahead. really nice of you. Okay, I'll untap my victory channel. 
I'll draw a card. And I'm just going to play Toshiro. He's here. Commander in the house. And then I am going to send one at CGB, just to remind him who's in charge here, and then one at Gina. Noted. But that was a respectful one at you. I'll take one. One. And then I will pass. At your end step, Blake. This is going to be really annoying. <laughs> hey, CGB, you want a colorless mana? You're going to add a colorless mana to my mana pool? I sure am. Right now? Yeah. Really? Right now. If I don't spend it? You get one damage. Okay. But you can spend it. I'm going to cast a snap, and I'm going to bounce your commander, Ben. Darn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! I will untap two lands. All right. <laughs> untap my major pen. Draw for turn. Yeah, what the, what the heck. Uh, Thrasios, Triton Hero. One, three, four mana, scry one, then reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land, put it onto the battlefield, tapped. Otherwise, draw a card. <laughs> uh, then let's all have some fun. Uh, Mesmeric Orb. Mm -hmm. Whenever a permanent becomes untapped, that permanent's controller mills a card. Go ahead, Gina. Yeah. You want to you wanna do the thing? You want to? Eh? Right eh? eh? no. no? You're not going to do it? <laughs> You're not going to turbo mill yourself, bro? <laughs> no, I'm good. You've changed. I'm good this time. So you untapped three, so you have to mill three cards. You don't like that? It's, it's, full graveyards are healthy for, you know, graveyard strategies. <laughs> ah, there goes a land, overgrown farmland, a forest, and a dinosaur. All right, tap in three for Kahira, Kahira. And hopefully soon she'll have many friends. Uh, all you. Okay, I'll untap five permanents, milling five. Let's go. Stormfist Crusader. Scoot Swarm, Arcane Signet, Bayou, and Archfiend of Despair. Not bad. And then I'll draw for turn. I'll tap my own Victory Chimes for the Gruel Signet and two more. Two cast Earlock, and I'll tap my Soul Ring to cast a Racto Signet. Blake, I'm gonna attack you with my Ley Lane Prowler Bro. for two Death Touch. Get him! <laughs> Get him. No blocks. And I'll gain two from the lifelink. Alrighty, well I'm gonna untap five permanents. I'll untap my victory chimes. Mill for you. I'll mill one. <laughs> Wound reflection. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh! Out I'll, of there. <laughs> I'll mill five, some lands, magus of the coffers, uh, play crafter. I'm gonna pass. And your end I'm gonna Blake. use it. I'm gonna give don't, you don't one color mana. List. Look, he's got open mana. Chaos. That's not how you're supposed to one do it. One colorless mana. Well, darn, I guess I'll spend it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast a Blood Pact. Target player draws two cards and loses two life. I'm going to target me. No, nice. it should have been me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll draw two. Go ahead, CGB. I'll untap. I'll untap Victor Chimes. You mill Wanna one. I'll get that for you. Oh, thanks. Fell War Stone. Fell War Stone. I'll mill four. Subtlety sail into the west. Savannah, Eagles of the North. Draw for turn. I'll play Wooded Foothills and sacrifice it. I uh, found a tropical island, and let's tap mana, and let's cast Ellie and Allen, the paleontologists. They're here. They might be out of a job soon, but they're here. <laughs> and I'm done. At your end sub, CGB, have a colorless mana. I will have a colorless mana. I will take one mana burn. All right, untap. Untap my victory times. Milling three cards. I'll mill one. Ah, oh, two kitties and a dinosaur vampire. Man. <laughs> Your graveyard has all the dinosaurs. I know. Hey, Ben. Hi. There's only one card I could play right now. Okay. And it would utterly destroy you because oh, I would gosh. kill your commander. I don't like that. It already got bounced. Oh, that would suck, right? Yeah, it would. Would you instead like okay. to give me one mana so I could play a different card? Sure. This is extortion. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, politics. Yeah. You need it in your first main phase? So. Uh, I would like it now. <laughs> okay, yeah, there you, go. there you go. One colorless for Gina. For you technical rules lawyers out there, we're gonna assume that Gina went to exit her main phase and Ben responded by adding a mana to her mana pool, tapping for the effect, therefore putting her back in her main phase so she can make a play. Go on. Okay. So we did it legal. Um, so I'm gonna tap everything for one of my favorite cards, Regal Caracal. So all my cats get plus one, plus one, and have a lifelink. And when it enters the battlefield, I get to create two creature tokens. Here are my adorable cats with lifelink. Yep. That is adorable. She, she demands a reaction. That's her give me a That's, reaction. Uh, that is amazing. Uh, with that, I'm going to pass. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, no problem. I'll untap 
Six. Milling six. Good, good. I'll tap seven for Kervak the Merciless. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, he deals damage equal to that spell's converted mana cost to any target. What? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh, God. Um, okay, I'm going to respond to that. Okay, it's mm. on the sack. Well. Will you, though? I don't know. Okay, Please I'm not going. don't. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Blake. On your end step. Oop. Yeah, Come on, can't. Blake. The hero we need. Fine. Fine. This isn't for you, though. This is for Gina and me. Gina, say something nice to him. Blake, you're so handsome. Oh, stop. <laughs> I don't right know if you want to, Blake. Oh, I sure do. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm going to cast a Deadly Rollick on Karavek the Merciless. <clears throat> so I'm going to exile target creature. That's a, that, that is a Karavek um, trigger. You get a it trigger for four damage. Four damage. Could go, for example, to Ben to your own face. Could go to Dan's face. <laughs> yeah, because I totally <laughs> want to do that. What's wrong with my face? <laughs> I'm going to target the Karavek trigger, trigger to your commander, Blake. Oh, Four commander damage. murder. This will not be forgot. This shall not be forgotten. Okay. Okay. That resolves. He is exiled. All right, Ben, you can pass the turn. I'm mm -hmm. going to untap. I'll untap victory times. Nil, boys. I'm nil. nil. Two. No one. Chain of Smog. Ooh. That's not good. All right, I'll draw for turn. I'm going to play a Cabal Coffers. Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to use it to make four black mana. I want you to keep in mind that mana burn is effectively an oh, effect because of Ben. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to spend a, another black to recast Toshiro after his ruthless murdering. <laughs> I'm going to pass. Can that, Blake? Have a, have a colorless... I called my bluff. <laughs> I'll take one. All right, let's untap. I'll untap. I'll mill five. Mill one. I'm going to discover some stuff. Mm. It's going to be great. So I will tap Ellie and Allen. <clears throat> I'll tap Ellie and Allen. I will exile the generous int from my graveyard. So I'm <clears throat> going to discover six. Because mm. that's that card's mana value. Oh, I turn over. Well, oh, that didn't take long. <laughs> I got a mana crypt. <laughs> That's a sick mana crypt, though. Ooh, ah. Wow. I will cast Delighted Halfling. We so happy over here. And then I'll pass to Gina. At your end sub, CGB. Yeah. Victory chimes. Me? To Gina. To Gina? Gina, I have a colorless man. Oh. Okay, I take one. All right. Mm -hmm. Untap. I'll untap my victory chimes. Mill one. Uh, Gina, milling you... four. Are you gonna try? Are you gonna try the negotiation tactic again, Ben? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I still mm. dangle murder over your battlefield. <laughs> dangle murder. Jeez, okay. It could happen. Oh yeah, sure. Or you can help me out. Okay, yeah. I have a color list. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm gonna tap everything for Kasali Slingers. Uh, it has reach, and when it enters the battlefield, I can destroy an artifact or enchantment. I think I'm going orb. Yeah, mesmeric orb's dead. It, it did its work. I'm glad to help. Uh, CGB. Yo. I attack you with all of my vigilant cats. I except the new one, right? Except for this one. Okay. Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> So what the hell is that what you think a cat sounds like? When they're attacking you as a three. Yeah, so that's 14. So that's 14 coming in. Yeah, it's 14. She always is so into these cats. <laughs> Is that is that actually what the cat does? I don't doing? think that's, that's what, what they're the doing. Cat does. <laughs> I'm taking 14. Ooh. I'm down to 23, and I've got four commander damage. I get to go up 10. It's not going well. No. Your turn. On your end up, Gina. I'm gonna tap the swamp to tap your lock to give all of you jund mana. Really? Yeah. So I have three mana in my mana pool. Everyone does. Yeah. If I don't use it, bad things. Three damage. Well, good for me. I have Thrasios, Triton Hero. Um, um, sir, player order. Sorry, I'm just thinking. <laughs> I think I'm going to spend that black mana on a Vampiric Tutor, oh. leaving the red and green. I got this one. And then I will lose two life to my Vampiric Tutor. All right, I will tap my Noble Hierarch and use the three Jun mana to activate Thrasios, Triton Hero. So scry one. I will choose to leave it on top. I will reveal a land no. and I'll put it on the battlefield tapped. Uh, sadly, the instant I have is white. So I will be taking three. And I will take the two that I didn't spend. I will also take 
One, because I have a Terminate. What? I will target the Thrasios. Why are you Terminate? Because I don't like mana stuff you can do with my mana burn. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like me having a mana sink. It makes yeah. sense. It makes sense. That is my sense. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, fair enough. But in response, <laughs> oh. I'm going to activate uh, Thrasios. Okay. <laughs> so, look at top card. I will put that on the bottom. And we're shooting for a land because Bowmasters makes me mad. It is Eternal Witness. So, I will draw it. That will trigger Bowmasters. I will choose Noble Hierarch. <sighs> Pow. This dies. This dies. See, you where'd your board great. go? <laughs> got attacked for 14. Got my stuff <laughs> dunked on by each player. Continue. I will untap. Play a wooded foothills. I will crack and sack it. Okay, got a bad land. Go to combat and I'll attack Blake for four with my commander. Great taste, Ben. Great oh. job. And you know what, Blake? You were bluffing last time, so have a mana. <laughs> Just, what is going on? <laughs> that is out for Blake's blood. Leave my blood alone, man. <laughs> so I'll take one. Okay. That will be your turn. Oh, great. I'm flooded. Now I can spend my own mana? Yeah. I'm going to untap. I'll untap Victor Chimes. All right. So I'm going to spend, I'm going to use Cabal Coffers. I'm going to make five black mana. I'm going to spend two of it going down to three mana to cast a Doom Blade, and I'm going to target your Regal Caracal. The original! The Doomblade! I know. It I dies know. to Doomblade. It dies to Doomblade. That's what no. I always said about Caracal. So sad. I know. <laughs> so this is going to trigger Toshira Umazawa, and I'm going to, with my remaining three mana, my mana pool, I'm going to cast Blood Pact. From your graveyard. From my graveyard. Incredible. Who are you targeting with the Blood Pact? I will target myself. Oh. <sighs> Did you want those Bowmaster triggers? <laughs> On that burn strategy? I'm gonna spend one mana for a Sensei's Divining Top. Oh god. The, the priority holder. No, another mana I sink. Love <laughs> another mana. Oh, that's a mana sink for oh. sure. Right. At your end, Seb, I'll give Gina one colorless mana. Oh, thanks, Ben. Can't You're do welcome. a darn thing with it. <laughs> Alright, untap. I will roll for mana crypt. Odds always damage. And it's a two. I'm grooving. Let's draw. Let's use Ellie and Allen's Discover ability. I think I've got another six drop in here. Yep, let's exile Eagles of the North and discover six. We got Dreddy, Imperial Tactician. This is a two, three flying bird wizard. When it mm -hmm. enters the battlefield or a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may tap or untap target permanent. Mm. So Dreddy comes down and I'm going to target uh, Ellie and Allen to untap them. Does that resolve Grumpy Face? It's Mr. Grumpy Face, and I'm gonna <laughs> top in response. <laughs> God, I love top. <laughs> You're all good, buddy. You can untap. Okay. Activating as a sorcery, I'm going to tap Ellie and Allen to discover six yet again, exiling Consecrated Sphinx. Does that resolve? Yeah, you're good. We got a soul ring. Oh, wow. <laughs> the magic yeah, set. We got a live one. Now. All right. Green, green, and one. I'm gonna play an Eternal Witness. And I am going to target the Sail into the West in my graveyard. If you haven't seen this one from the Lord of the Rings Commander set, you vote, each player votes for return or embark. If return gets more votes, each player returns up to two cards from their graveyard to their hand. If embark gets more votes or the vote is tied, each player discards their hand and draws seven. So it's a wheel, Blake, of the Bowmaster. So does that re resolve? Oh, you can have back? your wheel, buddy. All right, cool. Uh, then I'm done. And your end sub CGB. Gina, I have another colorless mana. I, I know you love it so much. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right. I'm going to tap two for a bronze hide lion. That's a kitty. It's a cat. That means with Kazali Slingers, I can destroy a target artifact or enchantment. Ben. Hi. The chimes. You know what? It helps you so much. I'm tired so of good hearing. That's so mean. I'm tired of hearing the chimes. Wow. Okay. Well, in response, she's ruthless. You have one mana. <laughs> hey, thanks. So I'm yeah. gonna um, tap my land in Animal Sanctuary and use that ability to put a plus one plus one counter on my commander, Kahira. Boop. All right. I'm going to move to combat, and I'm going to um, attack Blake with the Slingers and CGB with Kahira. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
I will... No blocks for Kahira. <clears throat> I'm blocking with my army. And I pass. At your end step, Gina, I'm gonna give everyone John to mana. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, I'd like to spend my mana. I'm gonna send his divine tap three times. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put that Dang there, <laughs> and then I'm gonna leave it there, and then I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. <laughs> I will burn three. I will take three and come down here at the 40 where you are. Well, unfortunately, it's not where I am because I'm also gonna <laughs> take three. <laughs> I'll untap and draw for turn. I'll tap two and I'll play Belb Corrupted Observer. At the beginning of each player's post-combat main phase, that player adds two colorless for each of your opponents who lost life this turn. What? <laughs> At the beginning of each player's post-combat post, yeah. main phase, so after combat, that, that player adds colorless for each opponent who lost life this turn. Okay. I'm gonna go to combat. I will swing Leyline Prowler at Gina and Yurlock of Scorch Thrash at Blake. Yet again. Um, so I will block with Toshiro Umazawa. Interesting. Okay. So that And Orcish Bowmasters. Oh, a yeah. double block. Whoa. Trigger Bushido. Bam. That's four power and four toughness. Brilliant. How much toughness your guy got? Or <laughs> Gina, any blocks? Yeah, I was going to um, block with my bronze hide lion and turn it into a coat for Kahira. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's see. Does damage go through? Uh, before damage, I am going to do his little ability. And we all get three mana. <laughs> we all get three mana in combat. <laughs> yep. Great. Love that. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to sense his dividing top three times. <laughs> Yep. Still, I'll make still it doing four all right. with the swamp. Still doing all right? Yeah, it's still a great card on top. <laughs> all right, I, uh, my, the mana's floating for me. Um, so proceed through the blocking phase. I'll take three mana burn. I will take three. I will take three. <laughs> <laughs> and Kahira's wearing a coat. That means the Leyline Prowler dies and Ben gains two. And my Yearlock dies as well. I will put Doshiro back into the command zone where he belongs. All right, <clears throat> post-combat main phase, I lost life, Gina lost life, Blake did not, so you make four colorless mana, is that how that works? Yeah. Oh, I should not have double blocked it, he would have taken some damage from us. <laughs> yeah. Well, the mana burns off because his commander's yeah. in the field. I'm saying I shouldn't have double blocked, because then he would have. I'll use two of the colorless to go down to two to tap both my signets. Now I use the other two, total of six to cast your lock. That was Ooh. some clever mana mana work. Oh, man. You're so good at math, Ben. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's your turn, Blake. All right, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna draw the card I've Sensei's dividing top to the top of my deck a thousand times. It better be worth it. I'm gonna play Swamp, which is the card I just drew. I'm going to make six black mana, and I'm gonna cast a Professor Onyx. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. I've got an empty board, guys. No Not response like... to Professor Onyx. That's good. Okay, I'm going to start by plussing Professor Onyx to six. Of course you are. I'm gonna lose one life, and then I'm gonna look at the top three. I'll put this into my hand, and I'm gonna Graveyard Night's Whisper War Room. Now I'm gonna spend four, not for that one. I'm gonna cast a Mutilate. <laughs> okay. All creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn for each swamp I control, which Whoa. is six. So everything's getting minus six, minus six. Before that though, I get a Professor Onyx trigger. Wow. That's gonna drain everyone for two. Okay. Okay. So I will go down to 11. I will go to 20. I will go to 35. 33 for me. In response. Mm -mm. I will overload a cyclonic rift. Mm -mm. Return all non-land permanents I don't control to owner's hands. Nice. So hey, they're not dead. Thanks. Yeah, I do appreciate that. It's really a philosophical question for the tokens, though. Mm, kind of. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Just my stuff's gonna die. It's great. Oh well, yeah. I'm really happy about it. <laughs> I'm gonna pass. Okay. <laughs> this guy, dude. This guy. I will untap. I will roll for mana crypt. Odds are damage. That is even. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Windswept Teeth. 
And then I'm going to cast a little planeswalker named Teferi Time Raveler. Oh. That Any guy. responses before I get a nice, clean, uninterrupted turn? Uh, Enjoy it. Nope. I love that. <laughs> love that for me. Uh, let's tap Mana Crypt for two colorless mana in the mana pool. Let's minus Teferi Time Raveler to bounce Mana Crypt to my hand and draw a card. Then I'm going to play the Mana Crypt. <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice the Windswept Teeth, going down to just 10. All right, use two colorless in the pool and last two mana. I'm gonna cast Sail into the West. So Ooh. starting with me, each of us are going to vote for Return or Embark. If Return gets more votes, we each return two cards from the graveyard to the hand. Uh, and we exile this. If Embark gets more votes or the vote is tied, each player may discard their hand and draw seven cards. I am going to vote for Embark, AKA draw seven cards, because if we vote for the get two cards back, Blake will win the game because he has Chain of Smog in his graveyard. It'll give him his whole combo. Exactly. And we know he has Professor Onyx in his hand. So I'm voting that he discards his hand and we all draw seven new cards. Terrible choice. Your vote? Embark. I'm gonna say return because I know one reflections in my graveyard, and I want to cut it. And I go before Blake. I, <laughs> so. How is that gonna help? <laughs> you can't cast it. So she voted embark. So it doesn't matter what you vote. Vote Blake. We are going to get seven new cards. Well, I would like to vote hands. still. I yeah. have a say in this no, democracy. I don't, I don't think, I your vote doesn't do. matter. Oh, return! <laughs> return! I'm, I'm already, return! I'm already drawing seven. I don't care. Mm. I'm gonna choose not to wheel. Oh, you can choose not to? Mm -hmm. May discard their hand and draw seven cards. All right, uh, so uh, that's my turn. Gina, you got seven new cards. I do. Show us what you do. I'm so excited about it, actually. All right, it's going to start with this. It's a planes. Oh, yeah. Nice. And then I'm going to tap two for a talisman of unity. Look at that. And then I'm going to tap three for a cultivate. I'm gonna have so much power now. <laughs> she drew all mana. Yeah. So I bet she drew like all mana. Yeah. <laughs> all right, one forest onto the battlefield tap, the other forest into my hand. And that was a great turn. Go ahead, Ben. <laughs> On tap, draw for turn. I'm gonna tap three for a Pendant of Prosperity. Then there's a battlefield under the control of an opponent of your choice. Okay, who is it? Who do you choose? <laughs> choose me, Ben. No, you know I have ten life. You. I'm most likely to just die. He rifted you. What did it do? You were gonna mutilate him. So yeah, here you go, CGB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. give that to me. Yeah, wow. yeah. yeah, nice. Thank yeah. you. I'm gonna play a Dragon Skull Summit, mm -hmm. and there's have unless I control Mountain or Swamp, which I do. I'll pass the turn. Uh, on your end step, Ooh. I'm going to pen in a prosperity. I'm going to draw a card, and I am going to put a Rejuvenating Springs on the battlefield tap, Ooh. Ben, so you I'm, can do the same. I'm going to draw a card, and I'll put Castle Embrith. I'm going to untap. Okay, wow. they don't enter tapped, Ben. Ooh. They don't enter tapped. Heck yeah. Nice. We'll start it with a nice little coffers activation. Yeah. Make six black mana. Okay. And in a deja vu moment, Professor Onyx. Oh yeah, he didn't wheel. <laughs> I did not wheel. <laughs> Cheating. Uh, cool, uh, Fierce Guardianship. Not Th cool. Thank Ooh. you for the land, Ben. Yeah, no problem. It. Hell yeah. <laughs> Knew you're dead, you bro. <laughs> uh, I'm in trouble. I've got 10 yeah. life, take it from me if you can. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play a Mana Crypt. I'm gonna spend my Swamp to cast a Dark Ritual. Okay. And then I'm going to spend an additional four mana and get Toshira Umazawa back. Okay. And then I'm gonna finish it off with that Sensei's top. All right, CGB. Yeah. The traitor. Yeah, roll for mana crypt. I hope you lose it. Monster damage. Bam. I'll get this for you. Yeah, thank you. I'll go to seven. I'll draw for turn. I'll plus to fairy up to two loyalty. I'll play this island as my land for turn. And I will cast my commander. Ellie and Allen, paleontologists. And I will pass the turn. All right, I'm going to tap five to bring back Kahira Kahira. I missed you. And then I'm gonna tap two to put these Swiftfoot boots on the battlefield. Mm. And then I'm going to tap one <clears throat> to see if Kahira would like to wear them. Does anyone have a problem with that? 
Nope. I think she'd love to wear them. No problem. Good with me. All right, Kahira has Hexproof and Haste. Ben, attack you for three. Oh yeah, I'll take three. And I'm done. Okay, I'll untap. Tap three for a thousand year elixir. Abilities have haste. Yes. Okay, do you, got, do you have anything to use Oh, with just that? watch this. I'll play Argothian Elder, which is untap, untap two target lands. Tap it to untap two target lands. Yes. Okay. Wow. I will do that. <laughs> wow. And then you could use Thousand Year Elixir. Oh, you can go up three mana. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'll spend one to untap target creature. Yeah. Ooh. Let me guess. Then I'll untap this to untap two target <laughs> lands. Yeah. Up to three lands. Yeah. It's just nice being able to tell the future. And I'm going to tap three. To Beast Within to Fairy. Okay. Ooh. The, kind of a, a little kicker there on the end. Yeah, there, but... I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I was expecting him to pass. So. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, Teferi is dead. Nice. I will make a 3 3 beast. Hey, your turn, Mike. Uh, I'm going to upkeep top. Yeah, with your Mana Crypt trigger on the stack, of course. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> Put them in that order. And now I'll do my Mana Crypt trigger. Odds is always damage. Uh-huh. Okay. I need to borrow your Mana Crypt. It's a good one. <laughs> I'm going to spend four mana, and I'm going to play Dread Presence. Whenever a Swamp enters a battlefield, you can shoot something for two. Or draw a card and lose a life. All right, I'm going to play Swamp. I'm going to trigger Dread Presence to snipe your little untappy dude. Oh, okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> he was poor elder. So much fun. <laughs> this is an elf elder, Blake. Why you gotta be so harsh? An elfter. Um, I am going to spend one black, and I'm gonna cast Vampiric Tutor. Yep, exile that thing, right? Yep. Yep. No yep. more. I'm gonna put this card on top. I'm going to activate Cabal Coffers to make a lot of mana. Seven. Seven. I'm gonna spend four of it to cast the one ring, going to three floating black mana. And gaining protection from everything. All the things. Yep. I'm going to spend one of it to top. You just put still know what's on, on top. top. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I get to do what I want, bro. It's my turn. <laughs> uh, I will tap the one ring to draw a card. Hey, look. And then I'm gonna to top again. Um, on that, I'm gonna to top again and pass. You're gonna, you're gonna change the order of anything? Nope. No? Not and, gonna look. and I'm still alive? <laughs> For now. Uh, all right, let's activate the pendant. So I will draw a card, and Ben will draw a card. I'll put a land onto the battlefield untapped. It's this plains. Ben can do the same. I will play a Smoldering Marsh. I will cast Eladomri's Call. I'll search my library for a creature card, reveal it, put it in my hand, and shuffle. I will find the Cephalid Illusionist. I'm missing a little bit of the combo, but I feel like it's now or never. All right, roll for Mana Crypt. That is safe. Jeez. Draw for turn. Uh, let's activate Elian Allen, and let's exile a creature from my graveyard. We'll exile Subtlety, so this is a Discover 4. Boromir, Warden of the Tower. Mm. So I will cast Boromir. If an opponent casts a spell and zero mana is paid, it gets countered. And also sack it to give my other creatures indestructible, and the ring tempts me. All right. Let's really kick it up a notch. Let's cast Displacer Kitten. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the, baddie, the, bad, the baddest kitty of them all. Let's cast the Cephalid Illusionists. Whenever it becomes the target of a spell or ability, I mill three. And I'm going to delve and cast a Treasure Cruise. I definitely don't have it. I'm yeah. trying to find what we call it. Digging. So yeah. this is like my last gasp be before you guys, you know, rightfully so kill me. Yeah. Sure. I'll delve seven. I'll put treasure cruise on the stack. Displacer kitten is going to target Cephalid Illusionist. This will cause me to mill three. I'll mill Command Tower, Temple Garden, Birds of Paradise. Treasure cruise will resolve. I'll draw three. Tap Soul Ring, I'm going to float one colorless mana and add blue blue. We're going to cast Penman's Aura targeting Ellie and Alan. Mm. This will trigger Displacer Kitten. Displacer Kitten will target the Illusionist. 
So uh, that will mill three. Lauren, Flooded Strand, Bountiful Promenade. If Pengman's Aura resolves, we're gonna pay a blue, we're gonna untap Ellie and Allen. We're gonna tap it and discover something. I will exile Lauren on the third path. I would love to discover a Lightning Greaves, ready? No. It's discover three. It's a ghostly pilfer, which is the worst because <laughs> it's a creature and not a, not a spell, so it won't trigger the kitten. You got one more in the tank. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's untap and let's tap Ellie and Allen. Let's exile the Derevi that's down here. Man of uh, Rock. Discover Man for three. Rock. <laughs> uh, you want it to be a creature. That's fair. Otherwise, that's the kitten yeah. uh, might find a way to keep it going. All right. It's a kite tail larcenist. It's another creature. Uh, I will have that enter the battlefield. The way that this works is I choose one permanent controlled by each player uh, up to, and that player becomes a treasure with no other abilities. I am going to choose the Swiftfoot Boots to become a treasure. I'm going to choose the Thousand Year Elixir for Ben. I'm going to choose the Dread Presence for Blake, and I am going to choose my own Pennant of Prosperity. My own. Yeah, in quotes. Uh, the gifts you've given this game have been just disrespectful between <laughs> Gina and CG. All right, so that becomes a treasure. Um, I'm going to sacrifice it for a blue mana. Mm-hmm, nice. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to use the blue mana to untap Elliot and Alan <laughs> and tap it again. I'm going to exile Eternal Witness, which I really didn't want to exile there. And we discover three. No! <laughs> Wait, it's okay, it's okay. It's a Jeweled Lotus. I'm going to play the Jeweled Lotus with the Displacer Kit, and I'm going to flicker the Larcenist. The right, hold on, actually, with that on the stack. Okay, with that, okay, okay. With the Displacer Kit on the stack. That's a problem. That's a lot of... This can, if, if I keep hit non-lands, this can keep it going That's what I'm by saying. turning my own stuff into treasures, yeah. Um, you got something? I have the board. Right, yeah, I know. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, that's that. Is that the one that makes you can't cast non creatures? Or no, that you can't. You can't cast things for zero. You can't and cast zero. things for yeah, zero, yeah, yeah. and I can sack it for indestructible. Indestructible? Oh, yeah. okay. Then yeah. go ahead. Okay. Uh, so I will flicker the Larcenist with the kitten, and I will turn. Uh, so all those things that were treasures are now no longer treasures because it's left mm -hmm. the battlefield. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now it re enters. I'm going to name the same things the Swiftfoot Boots. Uh, the Swiftfoot boot, boot boots do fall off because they're a treasure. They have to be reattached if you want them attached later. But it's going to be Swiftfoot boots, Thousand Year Elixir, Dread Presence, and then uh, I will sack my treasure jewel lotus for a blue mana, and I will untap Elian Allen. And I will tap it again. I'm running out of creatures. <laughs> I'm going to exile Thrasios. There's one more in here, Bloom Tender, that okay. costs two or less, or two or more. Yeah. And we exile Mystical Tutor. Um, great. <laughs> I'll cast Mystical Tutor. I will flicker the Larcenist, same targets except for me. I'm gonna turn my beast into a treasure. I'm gonna cast the Mystical Tutor. Okay, I've found Enlightened Tutor. <laughs> <laughs> so that goes on top. I will sack the beast that became a treasure. So this is on top from the tutor. Yeah, yeah. I have to pay the blue mana from the treasure <laughs> because I sacked the beast. Untap, tap, exile the, it, oh, it can be a one. It can be a one. I'm gonna exile the Noble Hierarch. Then I'm gonna cast this, triggering the kitten, flicker the Larcenist, turn Ghostly Pilfer into a treasure, cast Enlightened Tutor. I'm going to put Lightning Greaves on top of my library. Huh. Huh. I am, Going to sack the ghostly pilfer. Make a blue mana. Untap. Tap. Exile ghostly pilfer. Discover two. Lightning Greaves. I'm gonna cast Lightning Greaves. It'll flicker the ah. Larcenist. Yep. Well, actually, with the Displacer Kitten target, I'm trigger on the stack. Okay, so Lightning Greaves cast Kitten target here. Yeah. Um, anyone got anything here? No. You discarded, <laughs> you shuffled away your white removal spell, right? And you have and nothing. I'm nothing. tapped out anyway. And you have death at our door. If it wasn't for the Boromir, I could just, you know, zap something. Hi, but... I'm Boromir. <laughs> so yeah, that'll that the Displacer Kitten will resolve. Okay, I will flicker the <laughs> Larcenist. Same targets. 
Except, uh, what Horrible. do I do now? I'm gonna target the Displacer Kitten. What? Yeah, I'm targeting the kitten. Poor kitty. All right, uh, does Greaves resolve? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Okay, Greaves has resolved. I'm going to target Cephalid Illusionist with Lightning Greaves. Uh, you can mill three. I mill three. Okay. And then you can let it resolve. Then I'm going to target the Larcenist with the Lightning Greaves. Yeah. Does that resolve? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I'm going to target the Illusionist. Does that resolve? Yes. Yeah. All right, mill three. I'm going to target the Larcenist. Mm -hmm. I'm going to target the Illusionist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have present a loop. Yes. May, yeah. I mill my, may I mill my deck? Uh, yes. Okay. I will mill the rest of my library into the graveyard. Does he have the second blue? Though? I will shock in a hollowed fountain <laughs> as my land for turn. <laughs> Rewind the tape. I haven't played a land. Rewind the tape if you need to. I will sack the displacer camp for blue. I'll tap hollow fountain for blue. I will cast Thassa's Oracle with an empty library. Any response? Yes, I do. Sadness. You can tap top, draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to spend this. I'm going to sack my dread presence. Uh -huh. I'm going to heartless act Toshiro. <laughs> Oh, you had Heartless Act. Yeah, but it doesn't really do much with the Boromir. B -b -b Boromir. All right. All right. Oh, uh, you got there. I got there. Wow. <laughs> that was, oh, man. That the one ring doesn't protect was... from everything. Not, that was yeah, crazy. Not, the last turn was silliness. Dude, yeah. you hit That's the Larsus and I was like, oh, man. oh, a creature. Dude. And I, it was the sickest creature you could have ever hit. I never thought of Dude. using this with like Kitten before to like get the blue mana I needed. Like that, that, that just never occurred yeah, to me. Yeah, that was sick. Holy cow. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I pulled that one right out of my, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's uh, find our Cool Stuff Inc. card of the game. All right, we are back. Remember to use the promo code WORST at checkout on CoolStuffInc.com to support the show. Gina, what is your card of the game? My favorite card to play today was Regal Caracal mm. because I got to make adorable cats with lifelink and that was fun for me. And they did punch me. I, you did more damage to me than anybody. That's, that, that mm -hmm. is a fact. Yep. Yep, yep. Ben, <laughs> uh, card of the game? Uh, Caravac the Merciless, because when I played him, you guys were like, whoa, boy. <laughs> Ben's favorite thing in yeah. Commander. Yeah. <laughs> Just, oh, crap. True, true, yeah. But if it weren't for Blake, I may have done more damage with him. Blake? Almost assuredly. <laughs> card of the game? So, I'm going to go with Mutilate for two reasons. One, it killed only CGB's creatures. That's a big W. <laughs> two, I'm pretty sure CGB was the inspiration for the art of the card, this version at least, and that is why I'm gonna make this my CoolStuffing.com card of the game. Because that's the vibe I give other people. Anytime yeah, I'm around you, I wanna make that face. When I use cards like Displacer Kitten oh. to activate my Kite Sail Larcenist over and over, creating the blue mana I needed for the Penguin's Aura to untap the Ellen Allen to discover until I hit enough cards to hit a tutor chain to also cast the lightning grease to also mill my deck to cast the Thassa's Oracle I had in my hand. Card of the game. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, uh, don't, uh, that, is that the first, I think it's the first Thassa's Oracle we've done on the show in like two years of content. I think so. I think Sound Blake right? tried, but I think that was the first. But that was with Enter the sure. Infinite. That's a cool way to do it. Oh, okay. I thought this was a, that was a cool way to do it. It's kind of a wild way to it do was it. A, well, the way you got there was sweet. Yeah, that <laughs> was crazy. I know another one of those CGB turns, but <laughs> it's like when you when you start, you don't know what's going to oh, happen. Oh yeah, for sure. So just try to find out. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video. Welcome to 2024. Look forward to more amazing Worst Possible Commander show this year. Am I right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Not that one, but like, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe more where I win. <laughs> potentially, potentially different endings. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching all the way to the end. That's the number one thing you can do for the show. Check out our sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc. and Ultimate Guard. And from all of us here at the Worst Possible Commander show, you're Very cool. cool.
Now I want to see Covert Go Baby be a paleontologist, like brushing off like the little bones. Did you ever get one of those sets when you were a kid? I had a sandbox in the backyard. Yes. <laughs> and yes. I put like rocks and animal bones we, fa we found in the forest, you know, and we, we, we put them in there and we dug them up. I love that. There are wow. animal bones in the forest. There's of nothing course. weird about yeah, this. No. This is what you where do animals are. When you live in the middle of nowhere and nobody is within five miles of you, and you don't have any friends, it's just you, and your little sister, and you go find like some deer bones, and of you course. go back and you bury them in your sandbox, and then you dig them up and pretend they're dinosaurs. And this is normal. Nice. Normal. Do, do, do.